WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, 24th of December. 24th. Unbelievable. All right. 24th of December. And for those celebrating the Christmas uh, holidays, wish you the very best. Happy Christmas. So what we're looking at here is the Dow is down 41 at 28,510. And we were anticipating that we'd be a peak C and some kind of weakness over the next, uh, uh, over the <clears throat> first two trading days of the week, possibly going to a leg D above 28,608 later in the week. <clears throat> but what we are looking at, that candle in the monthly chart on the right, that is a leg D. It is a really good looking candle. So unless there's a, a real whopper of a downturn, and we could get some kind of a sell off here, even though people would like to hold off selling until the new year, you'd like to hold it uh, through uh, 2019 going to 2020 for the selling, we could see some kind of selling <clears throat> prior to that. The S&P is also down, the S&P is down uh, 1.28 at 32.22.74. Probably going to make a peak B today, and I, I'm going to do something during my show and discuss the alternate count. I'd like everything in sync, but uh, we'll see if we need to do that. Meantime, there's a good chance that we close a little lower today on the S&P. We formed that peak B, but the technicals are still really strong. Same with the QQQ, the NDX 100. This is at peak B. Um, that is the second highest peak. We usually go to four higher peaks before we get uh, start to look for some kind of a pullback. 211.86, so it's just a tad underneath the all-time high. It should go to higher highs, just like the Dow, the S&P, and the Qs, and the IWM trading right now. Uh, that did go to a new uh, recovery high at 166.57. And that is a new, since 2018, January, we had made a high of 173.39, sorry, August of 2018, plummets to 125 in December of last year, exactly a year ago. And now it's back in the 166 level. This is really good action, but it's still way underneath the previous high. Gold is having a spectacular move. Look at this, up $14 after yesterday's big move uh, at 15.03. This is really good action. The weekly chart is starting to improve. The silver is up strongly, and yet the dollar is only down three pennies. No, now it's down five. Still holding pretty well. I'll be back. We'll discuss all these different aspects and what we're looking for for the rest of 2010, 2019, going into 2020. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you on 